Hi, welcome to Learning Monkey. I am Raghuvir. In this class, we do practice examples in identifying the follow symbols for a given context-free grammar. You know, previous class we clearly discussed about four different important points to calculate the follow symbols. Please watch that class and come back here. And before going into the class, uh, if you want to identify the follow symbols, first we have to identify the first symbols also. So in our previous classes, we discussed how to identify the first symbols also. Hoping that you already know how to identify first symbols. Based on that, we are ex explaining the concept. And coming to here, the first example, you concentrate on first example. If you understand that, please remember our four different points which we discussed previously. From that, this example is very, very easy. If you understand the first example, remaining examples is very, very easy. Now, this is the grammar. S tends to A, B, C, D, E. A tends to A or Epsilon. B tends to B or Epsilon. C tends to C, C. D tends to D or Epsilon. E tends to E or Epsilon. So, for this grammar, we have to find the follow symbols. Before that, we are finding the first symbols. These are all the first symbols for the grammar. So, based on this uh, first symbols, we have to calculate the follow symbols. Uh, so, follow of yes. So, how to identify? On the right hand side, wherever you find yes, after that, what symbol is there? That we have to calculate it as first of that symbol. So, on the right hand side, we don't have yes. Here we don't have yes. Here we don't have yes. Yes, 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 no, nothing. But in our last class, we discussed that the, for the first non-terminal, we will add a follow symbol called dollar. Why we add this, we already discussed previously. So, the follow of yes is dollar symbol. Now, coming to the next one, follow of a. On the right hand side, whatever, wherever you find A, you find A here. Okay. Follow of A means after A, what's the symbol you have? You have to take the first of B. First of B. First of B means B comma epsilon. First of B means B comma epsilon. First of B, B means B comma epsilon. If you place epsilon in place of B, what's remain here? C. So follow of A means first of C also. First of C also. What is first of C? C. So what's the follow symbols for A? Follow of A is B comma C. So this is the point you have to understand. This is the point. Uh, this is third point and fourth point which we discussed previously follow of we, we repeat it again follow of a means first of b but what happens in first of b in first of b we are having epsilon symbol and other symbol is b comma epsilon b if you place epsilon in place of b what is the next symbol you have to take the first of c because after a if you take epsilon what's the symbol you, you are going to encounter c that's why we are calculating first of c also what is first of C? C. So the follow symbols that are present for a first uh, present for A is B comma C. B comma C. Now we are going to calculate follow of B on the right hand side. Where is B? This here we are having B. Follow of B means first of C. What is first of C? C. So the symbol is C. Follow of C is C. Similarly, follow of C. After C, we are going to identify D. Means follow of C means first of D. What is the symbol we are going to encounter in first of D? D comma epsilon. D comma epsilon. If you place epsilon in place of D, what's the symbol you are going to encounter? E. Means follow of C means follow of E all first of E also. Because in place of D, we are placing epsilon. First of E. What is first of E? E and epsilon if you place epsilon in place of d and e follow of s also follow of c means first of d first of d is having epsilon if you place epsilon first of e if you place epsilon follow of s because after completion of c if you take these two epsilons What's the symbol you are going to encounter? Follow of S also encountered because S is completed. 
so that is how we will calculate that's why fall of c is first of d what is first of d d first of e what is e e d e what is fall of s dollar so d e dollar that is how we have to calculate and next one is fall of d fall of d means first of e first of e means e comma epsilon if you place epsilon here fall of s yes. that's why e comma dollar now we are calculating fall of e fall of e means nothing is there means fall of s yes. fall of s yes means dollar this is how we calculate the follow symbols follow symbols if you if you don't understand please watch our previous class we explained why we are doing this follow of first of those four conditions watch them and again watch this example then come to the next example so coming to our next example this is the expression grammar which we are using in our previous classes these are the first symbols for uh, this expression if you now we need to calculate the follow symbols for follow of e for if you want to calculate follow of e on the right hand side wherever you find e we have to calculate from there onwards no e no e no e no e here e is there follow of e means what's the symbol that are present in the after e it is closed bracket closed bracket is a terminal symbol first of closed bracket first of terminal symbol means terminal symbol itself only so that's why follow of e is closed bracket along with that we have to add dollar symbol so this is the point you have to understand in our previous example we don't have first symbol on the right hand side but here we are having first symbol on the first non terminal symbol on the right hand side also that uh, means along with the dollar we have to add close brackets why we are adding close brackets uh, follow of e means first of close bracket uh, first of close bracket means closed bracket itself and we have to add for the first non terminal we have to add dollar symbol so that's why dollar comma closed bracket that is the follow symbols for follow of e next one is follow of e dash on the right hand side you are having e dash here follow of e dash means there is nothing means follow of e follow of e means dollar comma closed brackets that's why we got the same and one more you will get one more confusion follow here we are having another e dash also follow of e dash means follow of e dash ignore this these kind of situations eliminate this don't consider those okay now we are calculate we have to calculate fall of t fall of t means uh, on the right hand side wherever you see t we have to calculate from there onwards uh. so fall of t means fall of e dash what is fall of uh, so fall of t means first of e dash what is first of e dash plus comma epsilon plus comma epsilon if you place epsilon here fall of e dash what is fall of e dash dollar comma closed bracket so plus dollar comma closed bracket that is what fall of t means now coming to the next one we calculated fall of t now we have to calculate fall of t dash on the right hand side we are finding t dash here fall of t dash means fall of t fall of t means plus dollar closed bracket now coming to the fall of f where we find f here there is f fall of f means first of t dash what is first of t dash star comma epsilon in place of t dash if you place epsilon fall of t what is fall of t plus dollar closed bracket along with star star plus dollar closed bracket these are the symbols you got for fall of f this is how we need to calculate the follow symbols for a given context free grammar hope you understand the concept if you have any questions regarding the concept please post your questions in the comment section below thanks for watching if you haven't subscribed to our channel please subscribe to our channel and press bell icon for the latest updates thank you